how to find killer cheap stocks in as little as five minutes. So first I want to discuss how you don't need a lot of money to make a huge return, right? Okay, so let's say you have no money to invest right now, but starting right now, you start investing $100 every single month. Using that, you would have or be adding to your portfolio $1,200 each year. Let's say you were grow you were growing it for 30 years. Now remember, with these approaches that I taught, you can make 25 to 30% a year roughly. Now that is an est that is an estimate. But something you have to understand is my students also make way more than that. But to be safe, we're saying a 20% return a year. All right. So if you do all that, then that means after 30 years, you would have $1.4 million. That is at $100 a month investing $1.4 million. Now you may be saying, Austin, that's way too slow. I want to retire in 10 years. So you do the math 10 years. Well, that's only $31,000. Austin, how can you how can you expect me to retire off that? Well, then start investing more. If you invest more, let's say you can invest $300 a month that now makes your annual amount $3,600. And now you're at 93. So you're just going to have to play with these numbers until you do what you want. So for instance, if you have 15 years of that, now you're at 259,000. So it's all about how much you can invest and then you can work backwards and see how long it will take you to retire or achieve the money you want to achieve. But remember, the first key here is achieving high returns on a consistent basis. Because look, if we do this with the 15 years and this, so we have roughly $260,000. But if we achieve a 7% return, which is the average mar mar market return, we're down to 90,000. That's a crazy drop in and of itself. All right, so now you, you you may be thinking, okay, Austin, it's cool. Um, I can invest with little money and I'll have a lot in the future. That's awesome. But starting right now, I don't have that much to invest. If you're saying that, that's why I made this video. So the first website you're going to want to use is stockfetcher.com. If you watch the previous video in this module, module number one, then you would have learned how to assess the best stocks. So for instance, if you were like, okay, I assess these stocks using the 200 day moving average line. And I realized that Microsoft and SPY are the two best stocks, but I don't have $200 to invest in those stocks. So come to this website, stockfetcher.com. And again, you can go nine, 90 days, 120, 180, etc. We'll just start off with 90. You type in the stock that you want, but it's too high priced and you go and press enter. It will bring up similar stocks to the one that you brought up. So as you can see here, it recommended VOO, but that is priced at 260. So I also can't buy that. But here we go. SPLG. S and uh, it's the S and P 500, just another version, and it's $34. Look at that! You can buy the same quality ETF for $34 instead of 280, right? So you can keep going through and find all the ones like this. So this is this is one way and one example of how to find a killer cheap stock is by basing it off one stock that you found that is awesome, but just find one that is cheaper. That is the first method to finding great cheap stocks that will yield huge returns. You may be wondering why did that awesome video just end? You just saw a tiny part from the how to find killer cheap stocks in as little as five minute video. So guys, this video, if you want to access this whole video for free, all you need to do is click the link in the description for this limited time only. I'm opening up the course that I usually sell for a high for a high price for free. So if you want to get free access, click the link in the description right now because you can finish this video and watch all these videos as well.